Okay, guys, a little more information on this speaker installation. This is a six and a half inch Polk set that I've got in a link on another video, but I'm on the tweeter part. It, it got a little more complicated, but now actually it worked out pretty well. I got a little spooked out, but um, here's the factory and this cover pulls off really easily. Just pry it up, super easy. And this factory speaker, the best way I got it out was to grab it with some pliers right by this little thing. You can see where I kind of pinched it, damaged it. I just pulled it out that way. You can kind of try prying those little uh, pinch clip things right there. You can see at the tip of my finger. Um, but if you grab it with some pliers, a needle nose or something right on that thing, it'll pull out. But anyway, here's the new Polk and it's supposed to be like a silk dome tweeter or whatever. Um, it actually does sound radically better. So it is worth it. Uh, I would um, definitely follow through. So what you gotta do is this crossover thing that comes with the Polk speaker. So you can see the contacts here, input. So that speaker wire was hanging out right here with the factory head. And what I do is I pull it down. It's really easy to reach up under the sprinter without even taking any panels off really and get to that wire. So you pull it down, you cut the factory head off of it, you strip off a little bit and it's just long enough you'll, you can wire it into these contacts now. From what I understand, here's the here's the technical information on which one's positive and negative. Let me read this off to you. I just got the information from Crutchfield, but okay. So the this is written on a map, but the passenger side, the gray yellow is positive, and the driver uh, and the gray black is negative. You see that? Now on the driver side, the white pink is positive, and the white black is negative so you got that so all right so all you got to do is cut that factory head off of that stick it on the inputs negative and positive and uh then you bring your tweeter wire i got some new wire came in the package these gray wires i'll show them to you real quick these things these plug right into your speaker and I guess the standard is that the striped one is negative in the industry. Hopefully that's right. I forgot to ask Crutchfield, but there's a black stripe on one of them, as you can see. That's supposed to be the negative. So that's the way I did it. And you just hook those up. And uh, this speaker actually plugs down into that hole perfectly without any any messing around with. And then all I did was I took this polk. I wire tie or I zipped or twist tied the wires up. I cut off a chunk of this. Thing that came with the speakers i wrapped it in that put a little tape on it and then i stuck it up underneath the dash in a nice little spot on the passenger side that worked out really well so it won't vibrate clank bounce down but the wire is so short the factory wire it's short enough that you'll be doing a little bit of screwing under the dash but not bad um, but it actually does work out pretty well and you know what the improvement in the sound was phenomenal So I think the tweeters are a big upgrade. So go for the tweeters. They're really simple Once you get the hang of it the crossover is actually simple the wires there. It's it's just an easy cut and play All right. I hope that helps you guys um, there'll be some links to the speakers down below in the body and What else do you guys need? I think that's it Like I said the speaker fits back in the hole and just pop the cover on um, hope that helps. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. Take care, guys. Uh, and I'm switching the head out to a Dynavan. I'll show you guys later. Bye.